basics lecture 2 now what is role of a finance manager by doing costing that i taught you we become a cost accountant our aim is cost control by learning fm we try to take position of a finance manager it could be as high as a cfo also so what is his job if we try to explain this through our balance sheet it will be slightly easier balance sheet on asset side you have fixed assets say two examples plant and machinery land and building current assets stock debtors cash bank now these are assets to have these assets we require money money comes from the liability side so from the liability side we try to be having them in two parts we have long term funds we have short term funds long term funds are those which will remain with the company for a very long period of time you have equity you have preference you have debt short term funds means current liabilities you have your creditors outstanding expenses and so on now <clears throat> do remember that a company has to be making profit how does it make profit by producing and selling goods how do you produce goods we require fixed assets for that so therefore fixed assets are required first of all in this case for what fixed assets are required for production but then once you start to be producing current assets will get generated over your entire duration of the business cycle only you purchase raw material today but you don't consume it today there will be raw material stock you consume the raw material and try to convert it into finished goods everything does not get made so therefore there is wip stock you made the uh, finished goods but could not sell there will be finished goods stock so why does stock come because everything does not happen at the same time try to be thinking why do debtors come i produce the finished goods but then i sold them also if i sold them on credit there will be some amount of credit period also during that time when my customers are not paying to me there will be debtors cash bank is whatever are the funds that you all have in your bank account or as in form of cash long term sources equity true owners of the company preference somewhere in middle debt are the lenders to the company in short term funds you all have your creditors you have outstanding expenses also now we often say this thing that assets give you return ultimately whatever profit you get that is because you have used your money for purchasing the assets that is why this side is called as application of funds and this is called as sources of funds where have you kept your money that will be shown on the asset side from where did you get the money that will be coming on the sources side so <clears throat> on the asset side what you all get is returns returns also we always say this most of the returns that come is because of fixed assets current assets are only there because of nature of the business current assets usually do not give any returns even if they give returns those returns are very less but any profit returns means profit so any profit that you get is basically because of you selling the goods and how do you produce the goods for that you require fixed assets so therefore all assets give you return but then most of the returns are always by fixed assets current assets returns are super less and then there are funds over here beta but funds don't come free we incur cost for it so therefore there is cost of funds also in cost also major cost is of long term fund short term funds cost is there but it's quite negligible if you purchase a goods on credit technically there is no cost somebody can be saying there is cost because if you take the goods on credit then that guy will charge you high if you would have paid him in cash he'll be giving you some discount so there could be small cost of your short term fund but mainly cost is of long term funds so if you all try to be seeing the equation now on asset side you use your money to purchase assets assets give you return but then for that you got to deploy funds funds entail cost till the time returns are higher than cost company will be doing good the moment this greater than sign starts to be, be like you know be there at that time companies will do good if it becomes less than companies will start to be going down so what is role of a finance manager role of a finance manager is use your funds for such businesses which give you high returns that is whatever we are going to be learning in a chapter called as capital budgeting which business is to do which not to do other part decrease the cost of capital try to procure funds from those sources where cost is lower 
like if you take funds say from international markets at that time cost of the funds is far lower as compared to whatever you will be getting in india even after taking into account like you know the processing cost the transaction cost up and so on so as a finance manager i would like to have returns high i would like to have cost low overall i will be able to have good amount of profits in my business profits ultimately will lead to money let's try to use that money to expand ourselves to give dividend to our shareholders to make our shareholders happy and in turn increasing the market prices also thank you i'll see you next time